Can you hear the birds? Isn't it pretty? Okay, we're going to do the first garden tour of this year. And I'm not going to show you my face because my crown is still missing. And uh, the dentist didn't fix it when I went yesterday. So, we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. So, anyway, let's go up and I'll show you what the garden looks like now. Um, I've had a lot of help this week and a lot of things got done. But I'm going to show you um, what progress has been made. And then you'll really appreciate it when it's all cleaned up and painted and the mulch is put down. So let's go look at the garden. All right. I want you to see it now so you'll appreciate when it's a little more done. This was a huge pile of dirt. We dumped the dirt right on top of these uh, four by fours that outline the beds. And there's cardboard under each of those. And uh, my neighbor and her boys came and helped me spread all the dirt out. This is already mostly planted with potatoes. And so I've still got to clear out a little bit, um, get down the cardboard and tons of mulch. And so all of this needs mulched. There's going to be a fence that comes from the corner of the garden shed. And it's going to come straight back here, all the way back, go across, and then turn and go up there to that corner. And I'm making a little gate to go on either side. And then my little potting table is going to be moved to the back of the shed because there's going to be a gate right here so you need to be able to walk in freely so I'm going to move the potting table this all needs cleaned out um, all of that this this wood that's stacked up that's what I'm going to use to hold the cardboard down until we uh, get the mulch on it there's my new table and chairs my mom and my sister both bought one of those and uh, I ended up with my sisters. So this is cardboard box that's going to be cut up and put along the edge. I've got garlic going. That looks pretty good. I've got some kale and I've got like two little puny spinaches. So we're going to have to work on that. And I've got paint. So all of this white stuff is going to get a new coat and the new beds. And so, and that's my little makeshift trellis. I think maybe watermelons are going there. But all of the beds are topped off with fresh compost. And this is going to be my carrot and onion bed. That's new since last year. And then I've got some lettuce going over there. All these beds are ready to be planted. So... And that is all of the mulch over there. So it's a good thing we have plenty of mulch because there's a lot of grassy area that needs covered. So here's my herb bed. My thyme looks amazing. That's some cilantro. It didn't come up from last year. So I've planted some more. This is hyssop. It is looking beautiful. My sage looks really good. It needs trimmed off and the leaves out. This is all going to be stevia, I hope. And then here are herb beds. There was supposed to be German chamomile in there. That didn't come back up. Um, I don't remember what this was. The lemon balm here is coming back up. I added more dirt, so it's, it's peeking through there. And then these are things I can put new stuff in. That was supposed to be borage, but I don't think, I don't think that's what's coming up. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to give it a little longer. That's my trash bin. This is going to be yarrow. And that is my, um, oh gosh, I forgot the name of it. It starts with a C. And then all of this needs cleaned out. This extra lumber, that was sweet potatoes last year. So all of that needs cleaned out. I'm going to put mulch down here, put the potting table back there, 
and over here is once again the mulch pile so all that's got to be put down and then this is Megan's she shed I moved quite a few of my flowers over here so we're me and the girls are making mom a pretty little flower garden so I hope to take it to the end but we've got some pretty stuff coming up these are my favorite dianthus and they cover that whole little shrub it's going to be so pretty and then the Coke boys helped me planted some of that and we did that. So the Megan and Trevor and the girls have been at the campground. So we have a flower surprise for them when they get back. So um, that's where I'm at. It will look so pretty when it's all painted and when we've got the fence up. What I'm doing for a fence is like the little fences they have in the garden area outside at Walmart it's concrete blocks stacked with landscaping timbers um, through the holes and then I'm going to staple some chicken wire to the back so and there's that is going to be two gates and what I do is I plan it all out measure it out and then I have Lowe's to cut it all for me so I don't have to get the saw out because I don't have enough strength to handle the saw anymore. So I have Lowe's cut it. So lots of work, but making progress. And I forgot what that is. That's an herb that um, has medicinal qualities. Actually, the plant does not have medicinal qualities. It is the roots so I'll have to look in my iPad my iPad has everything garden related drawn out and written down so and these are all I've got some Yukon gold potatoes and some reds so I'm making progress I will show you again when I've got some mulch down and uh, the gates built and working on the fence so that's where I'm at thank you all right I've got gloves on I can't